Leo, I'm going to give Leo another message for those of you that didn't resonate with yesterday's message because that thing was very specific and most likely only for a handful of people or one person, something like that. So I'm going to do a broader message here for Leo. Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's do it for Leo. What you can expect for the week, what you don't see coming, spirits, advice, and or opinion. Give me a second. All right, Leo. Sorry about that. Can't forget my bait. read for men but not necessarily let me look here and see what we're talking about what you can expect for the week see there's my female I didn't want to speak too soon here so I got two men okay mm, another female okie dokie I mean, look, this thing looks real cut and dry. Man or woman. I mean, I got a funny feeling I'm reading for a dude. I got a funny feeling I'm reading for a dude. I don't have to be. Put a precursor, but this is real cut and dry. I have a third party. I have someone here extremely heartbroken. Most likely a gentleman. Doesn't have to be. Sure looks like a gentleman to me. But there is a third party here. Um, there's a gentleman here, most likely. Someone here is taking this really hard. They're taking this breakup hard. Something here has been ongoing for quite a while. Someone has spoken their truth. They meant what they said. Whatever they said, they meant it. They definitely cut someone off or cut someone out of their life. Their heart's just not in it. For whatever reason, this does involve how much money someone makes. I have a man here, most likely a dude. Again, it doesn't have to be, but there's someone here with more masculine qualities that tries hard to be a good provider. But the love is unrequited. It's like if you cannot provide the financial lifestyle that this female wants, their heart's not in it. They're going to move on to the next you know, they're going to jump on the next D. I, I mean, um, also, there's a female here, unrequited love. I have a female here, most likely, dealing with two men. I have two men here. One of them's a financial provider. The other one, she most likely calls daddy a lot, and she's more sexually attracted to that person. However, let's be clear. 
this person needs financial support and they said what they said, they meant it. They meant it. You're seeing someone's true colors, you need to take them at their word. This person is going with the person that can provide a better lifestyle for them. They've met someone new, they're excited about this person. You're seeing this person's true colors. However, I feel like I'm dealing with a gentleman here that is taking this message very hard. And I don't feel like I'm telling you anything you don't know. Now, either you don't know it or you're going to find it out this week because this is what you can expect for the week is some type of third party interference. I feel like you're going to see it with your own two eyes. You're going to see this person's true colors. I feel like there's a female here that deals with one man for financial resources and deals with the other one because there's good D. This person's excited about both. They're excited about the money. They're excited about the good D. Now, whether or not this female loves either one of these men, I doubt it. Queen of Cups is in reverse. I doubt it. You could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign or an earth sign. Shit, you got them all here. Fires here. I mean, I really can't be specific. You got everybody out here, but there's somebody out here I feel like deals with everybody. You know, I feel like I got a gentleman here that's tried extremely hard financially to be a provider. And when you can't do, when you can't financially provide for this female, I mean, now the roles could be oppo. You could be a female in the position where you're providing for a dude who's seeing two different women. If that's the case, I feel like he doesn't love either one of you. One of you he enjoys sleeping with and the other one he uses for money. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. It's very cut and dry message. Very cut and dry. This person gets excited. They're more excited about the money. Let's be clear. Their heart's not in it. I feel like if this is a man, whoever I'm talking to, man or woman, whoever you've been dealing with, this person has really beat your heart up. And I feel like there's an ongoing history of this where this person um, most likely was married. The emperor is here with the king of pentacles. It's like you're going to see that this person has repeated this past. Like it's just a past on repeat. That Like it's a leopard doesn't change their spots or stripes. You get what I'm saying? Oh, man. Let's go kipper. Yeah, toil and labor with uh, despair. There's a gentleman here that's tried really hard. A gentleman or someone here has tried extremely hard to be a financial provider. But you're going to see that this person will cut you off in a quick second for the next best thing. Their heart's not in it. There's someone here over, they're preoccupied with the gifts. Preoccupied. Their concern is for their financial stability. Main male and concern. I feel like I could have a spirit guide here that's very concerned um, about a gentleman. I feel like I'm reading for a man. The concern is for the main male. All right. All right. So here's this mature woman. And I see her. Queen of Swords is a mature woman. And they're both wearing the same outfit. You see this? With the blue and the purple. This is the same woman, this older woman. This person is up there in years and their concern, what's love got to do with it? Their concern is for their financial stability. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. F uh, give a fuck about your feelings. Thoughts. I, I think that there's a gentleman out here dealing with a uh, thought pocket. Thought pocket. Um, while this person is with the other man, they're thinking about someone else. Um, you need to be careful. This person may fuck around and call somebody the wrong name. Thought pocket. 
courthouse. Okay, we have a legal issue here. I have a woman most likely reaching out to a man. Mm -hmm. This person's really thinking about it, thinking about this person, but there's some type of legal issue here going on as well. Um, this woman is very vain, whoever you're dealing with. There's a female here, maybe a couple different females, honestly. Whatever message I'm giving you, you can take this to the bank. Um, I see what's going on here with this Ace of Wands. You see him holding it. It's um, There's something here exciting about... This person's really passionate about their court affairs. You know, it's like, I don't know if this person's in a hurry to get married or something like that. But, you know, there's somebody here. There's something here with an official process or an official document. This person's got red flags on them now. court record I don't know but there's some type of uh, documentation here that you need to be concerned about this person is ignoring this person's out of touch with reality Yeah, this mature woman marriage. Listen, there is a woman here that's concerned with marriage and, you know, financial stability for her and her children. Toil and labor is here. I see the labor. I see someone laboring. You see this? This is what they're talking about, the labor. They're basically confirming. It's the hard work that someone is putting into a situation, and it's most likely a man. Again, it doesn't have to be, but I'm pretty positive. Um, someone here, there's someone here with the thoughts and the tool and labor. They're thinking about their life overall, you know, this person, I feel like there's a female here. Again, it doesn't have to be. We can go oppo here. But I feel like I have a female here that is concerned about their financial stability. And they're thinking about how hard they would have to work with one person versus another person. It's kind of like um, whatever career path this gentleman has, that's what they're thinking about. Like, who would be the better catch? Kind of feel like I have a woman here that wants to get married and secure her fina her financial future. Yeah, this person doesn't want to work. Period. Point blank. Period. Toil and labor with the coffin. This female, most likely, there's a female that does not want to work. Now, again, it could be a dude. I doubt it. Change. This person, I feel like um, I have a mature woman here that has changed overnight with someone mm -hmm. because they've started seeing someone else. Now, it could be somebody they start, they met at their job. There's also another gentleman here that thinks someone is at work. Someone's hours have changed. imprisonment what's this adjudication is on the bottom of the deck what is this about okay I don't know Leo what's going on with you but something has changed with the courtship between you and someone you and a female there's some type of court issue here that has changed I mean, this is a winner and a loser, and there's imprisonment here. Whatever this courthouse thing is, it changes someone's course of reality very quickly. I mean, this thing heats up and heats up quick, imprisonment. 
I also feel like I have a woman here that is very focused on changing her life and she wants to lock a man down. You know, because whatever, if this is a marriage, which I kind of think it is, this person wants to lock someone down into a commitment for their financial security. Yeah, the main male. Okay, yeah. See, listen, the main male with the great fortune. This person has switched up on a man, and the reason that is is that they have met someone that has deep pockets, okay? What's changed? This person may have gotten a different car, but all I can tell you is this person switched up hella quick on a dude. The reason being is that the new person in their life has deep pockets. Yeah, lovers, okay. I have a choice between two different men. This person is weighing the odds on who would be a better financial provider. Um, and this person wants to get married and lock it down. What's love got to do with it? False person. I knew it. Wealthy man on the bottom of the deck. False person. What's love got to do with it? Also, I don't know what this is about, Leo. You've got a court case here that's pretty much dead in the water. There's something that has changed. There is most likely a female here. I mean, Queen of Cups is coming out in reverse. This person is false. They went to, they lied on a court document. Um, it could have something to do with a choice between two different men or two different women or something, but we definitely have a lover's issue here with the courtship. This, third, this person's thinking about how hard would it be to be with one person, not the other one. Something like that, okay? But something has drastically changed this week in a situation similar to that. There's somebody here lying about their intentions. Um, they are. They see, a, they see a dude here with deep pockets. Um, this person is false. What's love got to do with it? This person has changed up on someone real quick. Now, there's something going on here about a court issue that involved jail time. I mean, I don't know. This could have been like the death penalty or something. I really don't know. Coffin with imprisonment. I Someone here went to court, they lied. There's someone here lying about their true intentions of why they want to get into a commitment because it's going to change their pockets. That's it. This person is real excited about locking someone down. Now, I have a female here that was excited about locking someone up for real. Um, and they went to court and lied about something. Something here has been ongoing and it's been stressful to you. Someone here has challenged authority. Someone, there's, if this is a challenge to authority, they see this woman as a fake, a, fa a fraud, and a phony. This is when you could see a judge get out of pocket. Like a judge might really call, someone out, come, call someone's ass out in court and tell them that for their false claims, this female, they may threaten this female with a fake police report. Didn't we have that in another reading for you? Some type of false police report. Yeah. Courthouse, coffin, imprisonment with this woman who's false as shit. And again, you've got Queen of Cups in reverse. They're telling me it's a woman here that made some type of false statement to court. Okay? Okay. Um, in the meantime, in between time, I have another female here. There's two women. There's another female here that just has her eyes on somebody money. I don't know if this person thought they was going to get money out of a dude. That ain't happening. That is not happening. This shit heats up and heats up quick. Someone sees someone for who they really use. Okay, okay. I don't know. This, person, this person's real cutthroat about their money. Real cutthroat. This is a savage asshole. Savage asshole. I don't know. I think this person um, does this to men, period. You're not the first, you won't be the last.
But uh, this person shows they face back up here with this judge. I, I feel like I have a judge that has threatened someone. Like if I ever see you in my courtroom again, you will be in jail for this false documentation, false police report. All right, Leo, what don't you see coming? Leo, what don't you see coming? Now, if if that's not the case, and nobody, and you're not dealing with something ongoing in the judicial system, um, there's just a woman here with. Listen, this is just a female that's after the bigger bag. Um, definitely dick hopping, and you'll see this person uh, grows very cold, very detached with you. I do see it stressing you out. And you're heartbroken over this. But we have a third party betrayal. You pulled on the lovers. I saw two different dudes there. And this person's definitely interested in the man, a masculine provider that can provide a better lifestyle. Period. Point blank. What love, what does love got to do with it? What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Yeah, this woman don't give a shit. Okay. Um. What, what don't you see coming? Okay, there's something here you and I thought I felt that in that last re, in that last spread, but I didn't touch on it. There's something here about a dream you had, maybe something that happened around Martin Luther King. I'm not sure, but um, there's something here about a nightmare that you have. I also feel like um, you're very hurt. You're very hurt. Um, there's someone here that could be hurt to learn that they were just an option with someone. Uh, whatever this is, you're considering your options because this is embarrassing. There's people gossiping. There's this dude again, King of Cups. All right. They're telling me that you're an extremely genuine person. I do feel like I'm reading for a man. Um, something about a nightmare or a dream that you had. You've had some type of nightmare or dream. Um, I feel... It, because this is what you don't see coming, you will have some type of clarity moment. You're going to have some type of dream that is going to feel real, real. You're about to have some type of dream um, or you're going to get a message. Um, a lot of times I get messages right at the point where I'm about to drift off to sleep. Um, it's right at that point where you're almost asleep, but you're not quite there, you're going to get an epiphany moment where it's a very crystal clear message. Um, or this could just be a dream that feels really real. Could be a nightmare. Yeah, this is a dream that you're having. Oh, it's a nightmare. You're having a nightmare. Okay, you're having some type of nightmare this week. And you're going to see this person in your dream with another man having sex with another man. You're going to see this person in your dream having sex with another man. Yeah. You're going to see um, in your dream, you're there, the female is there. And this is some type of nightmare of betrayal. You're going to feel like you may be in sleep paralysis or this is where you really want someone to wake you up. Um, I feel like in the dream, you definitely could be physically assaulting this female. 
because you're so devastated. You're so devastated. It, I don't, do you, in the dream, you may walk in on this female having sex with another man. And you're asking how long this has been going on. And I feel like in the dream, you physically assault this person. So you wouldn't see this coming. This is a dream. Yeah, and then you're very, uh, you're beside yourself. Where you feel regret and remorse for your actions because you allowed your emotions to overtake you in the dream. You know, you definitely injured the female in the dream and it's a tower moment for you. And I just see you very upset in this dream. Um, I could have a female here crying in the dream to you. This is one of those bad dreams where you could be crying in the dream. The dream is going to feel extremely real. I've never had a reading like this before where I've told somebody about a future dream that they're going to get. But that's exactly what I'm seeing. This is a future dream that you will have. It's a moment of clarity for sure about someone here you've been dealing with that's only been chasing money. You're so shocked. You're so hurt by this betrayal. And the dream feels like some type of sleep paralysis. There is something here very toxic. Um, your intuition is extremely bothered because of this woman toxicity. And the dream is trying to communicate something to you about your own intuition about this toxic situation um, about who you're dealing with and the four of cups is here where someone is in deep sorrow deep regret i feel like this dream when you wake up is really going to have you shooken you're going to be shook um also spirits on the bottom of the deck they're talking about somebody's lying stealing and cheating and that you already know that this person is after the bigger bag and that you don't have it You've given this person everything that you could. You're going to see the truth about this. It's going to be an epiphany moment um, that you're not going to be able to forget. It's an epiphany moment about this third party. Um, it could be somebody that someone works with. Um, if not, it, it's somebody that's been working you for the money. Um, this person does the crocodile tears. I'm so sorry they leave. Well, this is your answered prayer. There's a message here that you're getting from the heavens. Um, they do love you, but they need to talk to you about this woman that's been working you. This woman's been working you. Sexually and otherwise. Um, there's a choice between two people here, and this is the end of a cycle. There's something here about the judicial system as well. At any rate, um, this is when you wake up, your heart would be racing. There's someone here. There's two men. I see two men, and I see someone really losing their shit. Um, could be something, you know, there's violence in the dream. There could be drug use in the dream. There's someone here that could be a sex addict for sure. Um, I see someone attacking the other person and they're very sorry for what they did. You know, this person is only attracted to men, providers that can provide them wealth. I just see, I see it. And I see third party on the bottom of the deck. Um, that's what I'm seeing. You're going to have a dream this week. It is your intuition trying to speak to you. When you wake up, your heart will be racing. You may want to get up and check something to see if you still have something like oh my god tell me that was a dream it's a dream it's a dream but it feels very real spirit what is your advice and or opinion to leo
they want to talk to you about a message. Page of Cups. Spirit wants to have a talk with you about the message. Something about a message. I'm going to talk to you about this female that you're dealing with that's only concerned with money. They want to talk to you about this female that you're dealing with that is only concerned about money. And this person may be a single mom. Mm -hmm. They want to talk to you about the financial hardship that you're going through. And they want to talk to you about this dream. Um, they want to have a talk to you about your finances, the financial hardship. And they want to have a talk with you about this... Um, injury to your finances there's someone here that's taken some financial loss here it's injured them okay they're talking about you know you could be in a situation right now where your pockets just aren't healthy you know i don't know if you've been laid off they've cut your hours something like that and they want to have a talk with you about the person you're in some type of commitment with, um, but there's this choice, okay, where it comes down to what action someone would take in the sense that say you were laid off or you were injured and it prevented you from provi pr providing a certain lifestyle for someone. This person would treat you, this person would jump. They would jump ship. They would go on to someone else. Is this the type of person that you want to be in a home with? Where if you can't financially provide for this person, they would make you an option at that point. They're going to seek a new connection. Because this person most likely does not want to work or... They want to be kept, you know. They're very concerned with their financial well-being. Yeah, this person will cut you off in a quick second. You will see the true colors of someone. You're going to see this person. Listen, take if you are not financially providing for this female, she will be very cold, detached, cut you off in a quick second. Is this the person that you want to have a family with? Yeah, there's something here about the dream that you're getting. Um, there's telling me that if you choose to deal with this person, you will be forever trying to hustle money. You're going to be so distracted trying to provide a decent lifestyle for this female. You know, you would never see them. Anyway, this person uh, most likely wants to date a man older. Like while they're still in their prime, they want to date a man that's older. This is also somebody that could have been a daddy's girl and say their father was able to provide them with a better lifestyle. Now, if that's not the case, and I don't have a daddy's girl here, this is a girl that would date a man much older, 10, 20 years older, because of the lifestyle that an emperor could provide. This person wants to be kept, and they want all the fringe benefits of being kept. Um, your spirit guides have been really watching this person. You've got a couple spirit guides here that have been watching this person like a hawk. They have kept their eye on this female. They've, they've, and, and honestly, they don't like what they see. This woman, they want this woman gone. They've been keeping an eye on the female and they want her cut. They want her cut off. Um, this woman is constantly scanning the room for a new prospect. Yeah, this is your answered prayer. Listen, whoever's receiving this message, 
I am giving you some type of very valuable message right now that is from someone's ancestors. The hermit, the hermit, I'm clarifying the hermit, okay? The hermit with the star card, this is someone's ancestral team, and I mean your team is here, Ten of Pentacles. They've really got your back on this, but there is a message that is directly coming to you from the heavens. This is an answered prayer. They, they, when I tell you that their team has been watching this motherfucker like a hawk, they've kept their eye on this female night and day. And they know that the female has been studying you and they've been studying other prospects as well. I mean, night and day, they've been keeping an eye on this female. They do not like what they see. They want this woman cut off. Um, I am talking to a divine bloodline. Of course, I am the emperor's here, but I, I'm reading for a dude. This is a gentleman's message. This person, um, journey with the thief. Um, this woman could be like a drifter or you're meeting her. I don't know how you met her, but I'm just letting you know. Wherever this person's coming from, they're a liar, ste stealer, and a cheater. Catch a liar, catch a thief. Um, also, your spirit team has come a hell of a long way to give you the message about this thief. Pathway with the false person. I'm telling you, this person... They have been completely false with you. They will lead you astray. This is someone with this is someone who is leading you astray. They are taking you off your path with this courtship pathway. This pathway with this person that you are in a relationship with. Mm -mm, don't you there's something there about marriage as well. This person wants to secure someone for marriage. This person doesn't bring much to the table. They're already financially in bad shape. This person's lazy. They want to stay that way. This person likes being alone. They're very, their language, it's very cold cut and dry. This, when you're not talking about money, this person really don't have a whole lot of interest. This person, this female could be smart, sharp, witty. Um, I'm not saying that the female's stupid, and I think she's attractive, but she has a type, and the type is usually older. Good-looking woman, confident, confident of herself, sharp, family room, I'm telling you. This person's trying to secure, um, this is somebody that could be trying to also get knocked up to secure a family. Um, also, on this divine bloodline, this message that you're getting from your ancestors, this is your team. This mature woman, I cannot say it louder for the ones in the fucking back. This lady, they are telling me again. Once again, let's talk about it. It's the same female that I'm clarifying. This lady, the mature one. Okay? They've been watching her. Watching her page of swords. Watching her like a fucking hawk. They are completely disgusted. They find this person disgusting. This female is a sad sack of laundry. This is also a female that would cry crocodile tears. This, this person's very convincing. They're very manipulative. Uh, your team is disgusted. Um, also, if you look right here where it says not hiring in the background, do you see it right there? Not hiring. Mm -mm. The lady doesn't want to work. This she don't want to work. She's going to give you every excuse in the book why she can't work. But she wants to be taken care of. Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. And you will be quite busy, quite distracted taking care of this person. Working morning, noon, and night. Your spirit team's not happy. They are truly disgusted by this female. Disgusted. Um... I'm not going to say they hate her, but this is a strong dislike for a person. They're calling this woman everything but a white woman. Calling this woman everything but, but to her, her race. Let's put it to you that way. Okay. Thief. Baby. Your spirit team is here. Okay. 
This is your family. When I tell you this person is a lying, stealing, cheating ass hoe, they don't like her. This person is after the bag. Let's be clear. This person is working you, probably juggling your balls as well, but they're doing a lot to keep you distracted. Your intuition, you are getting direct communication, most likely through a dream. The dream's really going to bother you when you wake up about this woman you've been seeing or dealing with. It's because she's a lying, cheating ass hoe. Now, a lot of times when I get extremely important messages, okay, it doesn't happen often. Sometimes it'll happen a lot, but then they'll all go stretches of time where I don't get any urgent messages. But most of the time when I receive an urgent message, urgent, it's um at that point where I'm getting ready to drop into a deep sleep. So I'm halfway in and halfway out of sleep right before you reach REM sleep. There's a peak moment where anything your guides, guardians, ancestors, uh, archangels, anything the spiritual community needs you to know that they're not going to be able to get, like they'd have to directly tell you, you will get that message loud and clear. There's a woman here that your spirit team is completely disgusted by. They're disgusted. This is an answered prayer, and they want you to think real fucking hard about how you would have how hard you'd have to work to keep this woman happy. What would happen if you got laid off and you couldn't work and you got injured? Let me tell you, this person, it would come down to this person jumping ship. They would come to a point in their life where they have to think about their own well-being. It would come down to a choice between two, and I feel like this is a female that constantly keeps a bench warmer. They are disgusted by this female. They're disgusted by her. They know, they know exactly what she's about. It's a very clear and cut message. Now, for a lady out there that's receiving the message, um, you know, I don't want to make any enemies here. Ma'am, if you don't feel like this is you, that's fine. You need to get a personal reading. You know, I'm not trying to call every woman out there gold digging slut. But this one is... I'm talking to a Leo man who's dealing with a gold digging slut. Jumps dick to dick. What's love got to do with it? Got to do, got to do. Who needs a heart? Yeah, this woman look crazy. I hope that helps you too, Kim.